Now let's talk about the elongation of protein synthesis in prokaryotes. For elongation, we need the movement of ribosome along the mRNA from 5' towards 3' direction. And ribosome moves one codon unit from 5' towards 3', one codon unit apart at a time. So whatever things present in P site will be transported to the E site, whatever things present in A site will be transported to P site. And A site becomes free to attach to a new amino acid carrying tRNA. So let's assume uh, this structure of mRNA as small circles. And now let's imagine, so A site is free, you can see P site is blocked and E site is also free because from there tRNA will take exit. So A site is free to bring another amino acid by the tRNA, it will bring the amino acid to the A site, binding to the codon with the anticodon loop and then second step is formation of peptide bond catalyzed by the large ribosomal subunit 23s rRNA of large ribosomal subunit and then movement of ribosome one codon unit to the right side that is towards 3 prime direction one codon unit slide so everything in p side becomes e everything in a side transferred to p side and a side becomes free again so another amino acid carrying tRNA comes to bind to the a side and again the process continues formation of peptide bonds and again sliding of ribosome one unit. But this process is regulated by multiple factors particularly EFTU which is a GTPS. So EFTU is a carrier that escorts the amino acyl tRNA to the A site. So EFTU with GTP brings the amino acyl tRNA to the A site. You can clearly see how it's done, how it's escorted. So it transfers it to the A site. And the moment it transfers it to the A site, the GTP will be hydrolyzed to GDP and the EFTU will be cleaved out from this. So this is the first step. So EFTU brings the amino acyl tRNA to the A site. Then EFTU gets hydrolyzed for the GTP into GDP and it is released. The next step is formation of peptide bond. But before that, remember that this EFTU, once GDP is present, that need to be recycled with GTP which is done by EFTS transfers a GTP fresh copy to EFTU so that EFTU is ready to carry another amino acyl tRNA in the next round. Now at this moment uh, once this job is done we will see the peptide transferase reaction the peptide transferase activity done by the large ribosomal subunit and here what we will see simple formation of peptide bond CONH bond catalyzed by the ribosomal subunit the large ribosomal subunit so now peptidyl transfer is reaction and how it's done let's see we'll zoom into this particular mechanism although i've seen that earlier but again i am going to explain this so zooming in here you can see how the attack is particularly done the three the the lone pair of electron that attacks so basically it's a nucleophilic attack and as a result of this nucleophilic attack we'll end up in making a bond between the amino acids and particularly you can see how the bond will form here the lone pair of electron that is present here at the tRNA of the amino acyl site amino acyl tRNA lone pair of electron of NH2 attacks the peptide chain and the carbon of the peptide chain and as a result there will be formation of peptide bond so there will be formation of peptide bond here nucleophilic attack and the rest of the amino acid chain or the polypeptide chain will be transferred from the tRNA of the P site to the tRNA of the A site. That is the peptidation step or peptidyl transfer is a reaction. Two steps of the elongation is done. Now the third step again EFG will come and again EFG will bring GTP and again we know then once EFG with GTP will be in this place but what happened is that sliding of the ribosome one codon unit apart that is the third and last step of the elongation and we need to move the ribosome slide the ribosome in order to shift uh, the amino acyl carrying tRNA from P site to E site and A site to P site it's very important to do that right and this is known as translocation translocation of ribosome again EF G comes in GTP hydrolysis simple movement of the ribosomal subunit one codon unit apart. So EFG is also required for the translocation of ribosomal subunit across the mRNA from 5 prime to 3 prime direction one codon unit. 